Hey Gemini, Dreams here 444, and we're going to take a look and see how your partner feels about you or the person who's on your mind. How do they view you? What are their thoughts concerning you at this time? Okay, Gemini. All right, so let's see here. Knight of Wands. Um, your person views you as very <laughs> energetic, but this person also may see you as lustful. The Knight of Wands can be someone who is in and out, very inconsistent. Um, the Knight of Wands can be very passionate and very goal oriented but the Knight of Wands can also be someone who's looking to just have some fun. So sometimes in a partnership, the Knight of Wands is not good because the Knight of Wands is someone who's charming but can't be trusted because they're very lustful. Ten of Cups. This person can also see you as someone who they could have a happy family with, okay, with the Ten of Cups. They feel that you and them can have a family, the children that you can have a satisfaction, they can have satisfaction with you, okay? How else does this person feel about Gemini? How else do they feel about Gemini? Five of Cups. They are also in dealing with some type of pain or loss, okay? There's some type of regret or dissatisfaction here with the Five of Cups. This is someone who's still crying over spilled milk okay but there are still two cups up there so this is someone who may have grieved something between you and them they may there may be some disappointment but they feel that something is retrievable uh, why is the five of cups here for gemini's person and how they feel about gemini why is the five of cups here king of cups okay so you have the king of cups is someone who who i feel like you love this person this person loves you this person likes balance okay tell me more about this king of cups because i feel like this person can get emotional when it comes to you six of sword hmm. moving on to calmer waters i feel like gemini with you and this person there has been either an emotional breakup there there's some type of dissatisfaction but there is love there with this king of cups I feel like this person wants to move on to calmer waters with you and create some type of balance because they see the Ten of Cups with you. What else here? Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on the connection with you. They want to put in the groundwork. They want to, they want to, um, the hard work and the effort that they have put in, they want it to pay off between you and them. Strength card. Um, and so they are constantly like trying to persevere and build up their courage. They're fighting against their inner demons. Or they may feel that you are fighting against some inner demons with the strength card here. This person may feel that there are some things that you need to heal. This person may be... Oh, the moon. Yeah. There's some fear or there's some deception that this person feels when it comes to you. The moon card deals with hidden illusions fear deception questioning motives here so i feel like your person wants to work on the connection they want to build a balance they want to move away from a time of turmoil because they are in the five of cups or they feel that you are in the five of cups where you are grieving or you know you could be holding on to something from the past when it comes to this connection this person also feels that there is some deception. Clarify the moon card here. Clarify the moon. Emperor in reverse. Okay, so just as much as this person has, sees a future with you, the emperor in reverse, this person may feel that you are a bit excessive and controlling. Okay? Or you may feel this about this person, but I'm asking how this person feels about you. This person may either be hiding how they truly feel about you, or they feel that you're hiding stuff. Clarify the Emperor in reverse. Ace of Cups. Um, this person could feel that you may be you you may be hiding the fact that maybe you want a new beginning, Ace of Cups. New love here. Why is the Ace of Cups here for how this person feels about Gemini? Eight of Wands, yep. This person may feel that there is some sudden change that they may not be able to trust 
your motives here maybe you you um are coming off a bit impatient or rigid or dominating and this person may feel that you want a new beginning in an, in another direction here why does this person feel this way about gemini what's this card trying to come out high priestess because they feel that there's some secrets here the high priestess can be someone who holds a lot of secrets um the high priestess can also be another woman this person could also feel that uncertain about the future of this connection okay someone could be very intuitive and they could have a feeling that there is something going on um gemini why else why does this person feel this way when it comes to gemini why does this person feel this way when it comes to gemini ace of sword because there's something that is, is either coming to light when it comes to this connection or this person is wants the truth or they're searching the truth are they looking for the truth about something king of wands so you have the king of cups and you have the king of wands out here so there are two energies out here and then you also have the knight of wands this person feels that you could be a bit flighty in and out so this person could could know or feel that you are dealing with the king of wands aries leo sagittarius your person could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be because the king of cups is dealing with love and balance but this king of wands is usually a very free-spirited person so maybe this person sees you as someone who's free-spirited and you pretty much like to travel you like to you know <laughs> Oh, Gemini, your person feels like you are a um like to be independent and likes to do a lot here, okay? So they may be seeking the truth here with the ace of swords, possibly about um whether you're dealing with someone else. Anything else about how this person feels about Gemini? This card is coming across. Yeah, page of wands. Again, a lot of fire out here. So I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person. I feel like this person knows that you and them, you you know, that the chemistry is there. But there's something about your character. Because I feel like you're coming out as a knight of wands to this person and the king of wands to this person. Someone who's very independent, um, can be a boss, very ambitious. But also someone who could be in and out and can also be, make them question. Oh, two of cups is flipped over, question the union between the two of you. Okay, you may like to travel and this person feels it because this page of wands deals with travel or news. This person may feel that you are a risk taker. Okay, but they also feel that you are a passionate and friendly lover. But sometimes you could be a rival to them. What is the message of love here for Gemini when it comes to their person's thoughts about Gemini? Hmm. What's the message of love here? For Gemini when this person thinks here it comes out again new love and then you have abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now so I feel like your person sees you as abundant and successful but there's something about new love your person may feel that you are um, dealing with a new love or this person wants to recommit the love that you two have because they see a future with you ten of cups deals with marriage long-term commitment okay oh that's a lot of cards yeah there's marriage right there there's also addictions out here and then there's firm boundaries are needed so the other cards didn't flip over i'm not going to take them but there, your, this connection could involve addictions and maybe someone needs to create some healthy boundaries in order for this connection to be abundant. So Gemini, this is how your person sees you and the connection. If it resonates, leave it in the comments and I'll see you on the next one, Gemini.